And turning to, uh, speaking of your constituents, turning to Alabama's Senate race, a new survey by JMC Analytics and polling finds that former Chief Justice Roy Moore has nearly a 20-point lead over you. This comes after President Trump endorsed you. Do you think that his endorsement will ultimately help you win the runoff election for uh, on uh, September 26th? Oh, I definitely think so. People want his agenda passed. That's what I've been working on since I've been in the Senate from day one. The polls are, uh, uh, to say the least, uh, you know, speculative at this point. I feel really good about what we see in the numbers. And, of course, we just have to work hard. And uh, so the next six weeks, that's what I'll be doing, both on the ground campaigning and in Washington, trying to help the president get his agenda passed. Members of the GOP, Senator John McCain, certainly Senator Lindsey Graham last night, voiced their support for the president's speech and the actions that the administration will be taking on Afghanistan. But it does seem, and I'm reading into this, it feels like a lot of these Republicans do not want to produce success for the president. That this is their way, that there is a separation and a growing separation, and that they don't really want the president and his agenda to win. And ultimately that means that they're not pushing for what is best for Americans. Well, there may be one or two senators that have that issue going. I'm not going to comment on that, but I do think, in my experience in the time that I've been in the Senate, the, the, the members of the Republican caucus want results for the people. They're, they don't want any distractions. They want to focus on things. But obviously, as you've witnessed, the American people have. That's been very difficult for us to accomplish. Um, I wish we had more conservative Republicans who would um, fall through and address these issues, but we are, we're not there yet. Hopefully, we'll be there when we get back. Oh, Jeff. Yeah, Senator uh, Jesse Charlotte again here. Um, I'm curious as to hear what your strategy is going to be for your election for the runoff coming up, um, what you're going to be talking about. You mentioned, obviously, that the people are riled up about the health care debacle. Uh, will you be going with the big ticket items? Will you be talking a lot about President Trump's leadership? Uh, what, what are you going to be doing going forward? Right. Well, it's down to since it's a two-person race now instead of an eight- or nine-person race, I'm just going to focus on my conservative record. I think what distinguishes me from this opponent and others is that I've actually got a can-do uh, record of accomplishment, conservative common-sense uh, reforms that I've put done as attorney general for six years here. Now, since I've been in Washington voting for the president's agenda, that's what people want. And I'm going to do the best I can to convince my colleagues, let's get back and focus on what the people of this country voted the president into office to do, solve real-world problems. That's the frustration that I see. That's my record of getting that done. And that's uh, what I'm going to campaign on. Yeah, well, I wish you the best of luck there. Yeah, it'll be interesting to watch how it all unfolds. Senator, the other thing we haven't talked about uh, is infrastructure plan, and that's part of his agenda. Is this a key cog in the wheel? Are you talking about that as on your platform? I am talking about it, and I see it as part and parcel of the tax relief program. It all kind of comes together. You know, if I had been in charge, I probably would have started with that. Uh, I think that's critically important. People demand it. It, it affects the economy, safety, national security, et cetera. So I'm sorry we're so slow in getting to that. It's certainly something on people's minds. And I wanted to address, I've always thought that Congress could do more than one thing at a time. I'm, I've been shocked that we haven't been able to do that so far. So, um, you know, I'm, again, that's, that's something that people care about well, very even, much. Senator, even when y'all, you guys are working, and gals, are working on one thing at a time, you're still not getting any, it's still not. <laughs> like, there's yeah. nothing happening. And it's unbelievable. Well, since I just, uh, I'm a you know, relative newcomer, I've even been there a shorter time than the president. I really objected to taking any re quote recess. Mm -hmm. I thought we should have stayed in Washington the whole time. Everybody in America watching your show is out working at a job or working mm -hmm. the night shift or whatever. And why, don't, why are we not doing that? I, I'm not uh, sure I can explain. Senator Luther Strange, good to see you, Senator. Take care. Thanks, guys.